being uh you know being the owner operator and and booking loads yourself these these brokers are 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 actually are actually effing you while you're already there like explain what's going on with 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 you already accepting the load and they still looking for uh carriers or drivers to take the load even cheaper what's up youtube welcome back to breaking truckers yeah, it's becoming a little bit more. I, I've heard of it happening before. Sister in the building. All right, so before we get before we get started, sister, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. You, there's a lot of guys that have been talking about these brokers just doing things, uh, just doing crazy things. And in this particular, yeah, very unethical. Yeah, in this particular TikTok right here. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Okay, I'm I'm letting y'all know. Like, I heard of this stuff happening, but it's just never happened. Well, let me take that back. It had happened to me, but I beat it because they weren't tracking me, and I was already at the the shipper before they tried to snatch my load from me and give it to somebody for cheaper. So I'm saying that with this particular broker, this is starting to happen a lot because this is the third time now. Um, the first time I got them, I was already there. And then me and the person who came for the same load, we talked and our the difference between our um, bids was $300. But I was there and the shipper just left me there because you know I was already there and they were already loading me. So they sent him away. So they took the second load from me. This was, I think, last week. They took my next load off of me, saying it canceled. Uh, but I had already gotten to the shipper, and the shipper was like, no, they hadn't canceled. You know, they were still, you know, this load was still um, active on their end. Now, it's funny that brokers do that because I, you know, I, I used to work for a Russian company back in the day. Mm -hmm. Black, Black Ops, by the way. And I would get to, um, we would get a load, or at least they would send me the load. I would go to the place only to find out, because I'm a company driver, so I'm, I'm talking from a company driver standpoint. I would get to the place only to find out that the load was supposed to be picked up, like, way early in advance. So let's say I would get the load around 3 o'clock, and the load was supposed to be picked up at about 11 o'clock. Only to come to find out that somebody that was on the load prior either refused the load, rejected the load, or they just didn't want the load at all. We pick up, you know, the Black Ops company pick up the load for whatever price, and I am made to suffer because whoever initially picked up the load, was supposed to pick up the load, didn't pick it up on time, so now I got to be at work in because that load is late. But for you being uh, you know, being the owner operator and and booking loads yourself, the, these these brokers are 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 actually are actually effing you while you're already there? Like explain what's going on with 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 you already accepting the load and they still looking for uh, carriers or drivers to take the load even cheaper? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's becoming a little bit more... I, I've heard of it happening before, but I've just been noticing, like, this month it's been happening a lot. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not getting... I, I, I don't really deal with too many brokers right now. I only really work with, like, three. But I just noticed that this one particular broker... You know, this is becoming a habit. And, um, you know, I, I, it's kind of weird because if I was to do it, like if I was to, you know, accept this load, have them, it's an actual contract, so we're contracted now on this load. And if I was to break the contract or whatever, you know, I found a better load. I'm like, well, you know, screw it. I'm going to take this load for better. And I drop it, they shun us. And it, and it counts against us. You know, and things like that. Oh, well, you know, you're you're dropping your load. That's a bad thing. But then they're doing the same thing to us. 
you know, they're they're pulling loads because they're still fishing, even though they've accepted your offer. So what? And they're still fishing to see if they can get it cheaper. So what they're doing, they're 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 making you pay if you drop the load if you found something better, but yet mm-hmm. they're they're trying to find ways of not being responsible or not paying when they do it to you guys. Right. Exactly. There's no consequences for them. It's it I mean, I when I saw it happen last night, I I because see they've been getting me for not tracking, so my tracking score is very low. So I need to they need to track me. And I know that they were tracking me and they knew I was on my way there, but it seemed like as soon as I was like within ten miles of my pickup, then, you know, I started getting emails and I'm like, What is this? you know? And it said my load was rejected. And I'm like, what do you mean rejected? How could they reject the load that's already been accepted? I've already accepted the contract, the tenure, the rate time. I have it in my possession, but now they're saying it's rejected. Then I get another email saying that the load had canceled. But I guess they figured out, oh, wait a minute, she's already accepted this load. You know, and so then they turned around and they rejected it. And so I pull over and that's why I stop at for today because I don't know where I'm going to go. And the load pops back up. It's on the load board. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> how, how's my load here? It's still on the load board. So I, I don't know. It so was they, weird. They, so I tried to call so, the So it's weird <laughs> that they did that. So first they trying to make, you know, they try to push the load off of you. Uh yeah, then, so then they, they you're did. like they took the load off. Right. So then you're like, wait, I already accepted the load. I got the pay form. I, you know, I'm on my way. I'm I'm literally on my way to mm-hmm. pick up the load. But mm-hmm. now they come back and say, Oh, well, we, we canceled it. But then you find out, you look again, it pops back up on the load board at a cheaper rate. Mm-hmm. No, no, they put it back at the book book it rate. And they let they put it back up to the rebid again. They just threw it right back up there. No changes, no changes in the time, no changes in the date. Because it's supposed to pick up, you know, this morning. So there were no changes to it. It's just that they just re-entered it. Wow. So is there is there a way that you can uh you can you can fight that or is there a way that you can you can be like, hey, you know, that was my load, y'all, y'all took it from me. Y'all lied to me. Is there any, any, anything that you guys could do to, 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 to fight that? I, I don't know of any. I, I don't know of any because I was trying to get clarity um, from them because I wasn't sure what was going on because the app was saying that I was on the load, but um, you know that I got the the tenure, the new break time. And they, they put it whereas if I did pick up the load, I would get paid nothing. They, they took the, the cash off of it. So uh, that was the determining from picking up the load. But I was trying to get clarity, like, hey, was this an accident? You know, what's going on? Was the load canceled? Did you still need the truck? Yeah, I, but they wouldn't pick up the phone. They left me on hold for a long time, and then they hung up. And then somebody picked up, and then they hung up. And I, I tried to call them for about 30 minutes. and I. I they just left me in limbo, and then um, you know the the app said that the, I had been outbid it, and then the load was gone. And I'm like, mm. they didn't they didn't counter it, they didn't even look at it. <laughs> they, I was like, uh, okay. And you and, and you notice this as as a trend now that that these brokers is is, oh, yeah. is doing yeah, is it more and more and more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is the third time for me. But just as one particular broker, not all brokers, just this is one particular broker. And, and I don't know if I need to probably look to see if this is the same person in the brokerage or are these different people in this brokerage. Um, but I know it's the same company. So, wow. you know, it's just um, I'm professional, you know, because if I was to do it, you know, they would be, you know, blackballing me and say that I wasn't a good carrier. But you, but but you are a good carrier, or at least you're trying to be. But you, 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 you just keep getting this, keep getting BS 
by these brokers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know, like, uh, two weeks ago when uh, Christmas loads were going out, um, I uh, my account was in Stellar. It was, like, 100% everything. And I was able to see everything. So I knew where to pick up the loads. And they, when you pick up these Christmas loads, they put it in differently so that it comes up. You get all of these dings on your performance. No tracking, no uploading this, no, you know, no on time, no, you were late for pickup, you were late for, and I'm like, no, I wasn't, I was on time all the time. They just, because they don't put it on the app, and if the app don't see it, then they just ding it up as X's, it brings down your score, and you don't see anything anymore. Do you think, uh, <laughs> because the, the, go ahead, go ahead. No, because the holiday loads came on, and do, I knew that. Do you think, um, that these brokers are doing this to you because you're a woman, because you're no. a minority woman no, at that. No, 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 no. no it, it's just it's, it's 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 a game of cat and mouse. It's just a it's a game of cat and mouse. They hide the money. You know they didn't. You know when they knew, like I, I had figured out the code. I know exactly how their low board works now. So once I know exactly, I know who their accounts are with. I know which ones pay better. I know which lanes to go to. And as soon as I get to the point where I can see everything, they make sure that they ding it so that it brings it back down so that you don't know anything anymore. Then all you're going to just see is the state, the city and the state. You're not going to know anything. So if you're just you're just shooting in the dark until you bid. Me, when I knew who I, what the company was, I knew what I could get for it. And then I could call them on it and be like, hey, you know, this load, I did this load for this amount of dollars. You know, um, I'm not sure why this load is half the price today and I just did this load yesterday. Then they would give it to me. So they had to knock me out. It wasn't because I was black or a woman. It was because I knew. And they had to, <laughs> they had to, that, to um, kick me down so that I couldn't see what they were doing. You know, I couldn't see the loads the way, you know, I was looking at it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sis Star, thank yeah. you very much for for the chat right quick, man. Mm -hmm. It's it's it's, oh, okay. cra it's it's crazy that uh that that uh that these brokers is doing this to you guys, especially around do you see do you see this more and more around the silly season or or is, do you think this is like throughout throughout the end? I mean, throughout the year. Um. Well, I've heard of, I've heard this happening before. You know, from like other people who've been like brokering their loads. I haven't been. I've only been brokering my own loads um, for about a year and a half. So, um, you know, I just haven't had it happen to me, but I've been hearing about it. So I know it is a practice, and I know it does happen from time to time um, from some of the carriers, but I had just not personally um, had it happen to me. And so this is just interesting to see, like, the little games. I call it cat and mouse, the little games of cat and mouse that they play um, to keep you from, like, you know, it's just to keep you from bidding, you know, because they, they want to keep the money in their pocket, and not in yours, you know? So, I mean, I get it. Business is business. You just have to, you know, play chess and not checker. So, Crazy. That's Crazy. the way I look at it. Well, again, mm -hmm. thank you very much. I really do appreciate the time and, uh, and the conversation. I love, uh, I love listening to you. Love the conversation. Love your TikTok. So keep it up. If you come up with, uh, come up with another interesting TikTok as you always do. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, a win pop. Death to the hit, it won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, could bars, you got pops. Urge writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pump, pump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.